A very safe and good morning to all. Looking at important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for 27th March. On the front page you have 1.7 lakh crore lockdown package rolled out. So rations have been doubled for three months and Nirmala Sitharaman, the finance minister says we do not want anyone to remain hungry. So steps have been taken. You can see the economic relief package which has been announced by the finance minister now during lockdown is number one insurance cover of 50 lakh rupees per person for doctors and medical workers fighting fighting covid 19. 80 crore poor people will receive 5 kg wheat or rice and 1 kg of preferred pulses for free every month from the next for the next three months free grains can be availed in two installments then increase in mg and reg wage to 202 per day from 182 for 13.62 crore families then 20.4 crore Jandhan women account holders to get rupees 500 per month for the next three months. Ex grade of 1000 rupees to 3 crore senior citizens disabled and widows among the poor. Government to front load 2000 rupees to 8.7 crore farmers in the first week of April under the existing PM Kisan Yojana. Then 8.3 crore below the poverty line families to receive free cylinders for the three, next three months. Wage earners below 15,000 per month in business having less than 100 workers to receive 24% of their monthly wages into their provident fund accounts for the next three months. And center has directed the state government to use construction workers welfare fund to give relief to 3.5 crore registered workers. So these are the announcements being made which is amounting to 1.7 lakh crore. And this is G20 com commits five trillion dollars. So G20 summit took place, virtual summit took place, and it has decided to inject more than five trillion dollars into the global economy and contribute to the COVID-19 solidarity response funds set by the led by the World Health Organization. Then this is how lockdown has forced migrant workers to even reach home by foot. So these are daily wage earners from Delhi returning to UP on foot. In Delhi, there are daily wage earners, you can see migrant workers who are living 15 in one room and they don't have anything to eat. They're, there is no job, no money and no access to food also. They are without work. And this is regarding the new parliament design which is proposed under the Central Vista plan. So the design of the new parliament building it is said now is which was hoped to be completed by August 2022 could be delayed by a few weeks because of the country being under lockdown presently. So the plan is still on. Which is going to cost 20,000 crores. On the editorial page, the first editorial is Standing with the Navy. So this is regarding the relief package which has been announced by Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman, which we discussed on front page. It is called Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan Yojana. So this is said to be a good start, but uh, more might need, need to be done sooner than later. So that would not be sufficient is also true. And then here you have Terror Unlimited. So this is regarding the Islamic State attack on a Gurudwara in Afghanistan in Kabul. So it says the IS attack is another reminder that there is no end to Afghan violence in fact. So though Taliban has uh, entered into a deal with USA, but still you can see the though the peace agreement is in place, Islamic State is also powerful here and now attacks are being claimed by Islamic State. The lead article is Devising a people-centric response to COVID-19. So this is uh, Kerala Chief Minister, Mr. Pinarai Vijay. He, uh, he says we urgently need an economic stimulus to provide livelihoods in the period of lockdown. So that is the most important aspect. The economic package has been announced. Even state governments have come up with economic packages. So this is again regarding safeguarding the vulnerable among us. So the effectiveness of our response will be judged by what we do to protect the weakest sections of our society. And next is on the OPEC page, how can India contain the economic impact of COVID-19? So COVID-19 is going to have economic consequences too. And it says the government must focus on health and livelihood issues at the same time. 
so the health is also important and livelihoods are being affected too so that also has to be taken care of the economic package has been announced but it's not going to compensate for the economic loss which is taking place then this is regarding trump's inadequate response so it says after underplaying the covid-19 threat which uh, president trump said is not going to affect us for a while the us president now changed the narrative so, so he, he has often waged a war on science in the past he has made false claims on evolution called global warming a total and very expensive hoax and stated that vaccines cause autism so see these are the statements of the us president now he has made a u turn even covid 19 he said is not going to affect us and now he says that you know, we have to fight against this he says do me a favor start treating science and its principles with respect so complete u turn has been done by president trump then this is the complete coverage on the front page news regarding g20 committing 5 trillion dollars amid covid 19 scare which we saw on the front page even prime minister narendra modi called for bigger mandate and more funding for world health organization that has failed to adapt itself to deal with the new challenge and this is jnk extends ban on fast mobile internet so jammu and kashmir administration has decided to continue the ban on high speed internet for mobile phone users despite requests by political parties and civil society groups to restore it in the wake of covid-19 crisis but jammu and kashmir administration has extended the ban till 3rd april on international page you have coronavirus deaths cross 1000 in us so us deaths from coronavirus pandemic topped 1000 in another grim milestone for the global outbreak that is taking lives and wreaking havoc on economy and the established routines of ordinary life so here you can see the states which are worst hit are new york new jersey california then here you have big tech could emerge stronger from virus crisis so with people told to work from home the pandemic has deepened reliance on services from the bigger technology companies so this is there like amazon netflix and other such services are seen a boom facebook as such is saying a surge in video calls and messaging too on business page you have crisis cuts growth estimate so credit rating agency of india crisis has cut india's gdp growth forecast for the next financial year to 3.5% earlier it had estimated 5.2% now it is down to 3.5% due to the spread of covid-19 so that is it these are the important headlines from the hindu newspaper so that is it thank you